Let me show you something pretty cool. Uh, last night uh, in my Twitch stream, one of my viewers shared this uh, liquid LFM2 model with me. And then I've decided to go ahead and um, set it up on my one of my old laptops that's plugged into my Kubernetes cluster that I'm going to show you in a second. And it's actually quite fascinating. I'm getting like 90 tokens per second, which is awesome. And of course, it's using my hardware that's been sitting in the drawers for a very long time. So let me show you how it is. Note that I will not be kind of getting through the guide on how to do this. It's very simple. I've wrote an article that I'm going to link here in the description of this video. So let's kind of move on to the fun part. So if we go, if we take a look at two, we're going to take a look at two things very quickly in this in this video, first and foremost, uh, we can take a look at some chat box. So I'm, I've just installed a chat box here in Windows, so I'm not using curl. So you can kind of see how amazing this model is considering its size. And then I'm going to show you how you can use it in cursor or VS Code or whatever, which is also awesome. Just note that uh, if I go back to this article, uh, and as I wrote here at the bottom, how you're going to configure some of these things depending on your local networking. I have an enterprise gr grade networking because I run my Kubernetes cluster and, uh, and the whole programmer network, you know, as part of it. So that's going to differ maybe slightly so, but the everything else here should be the same if you have, of course, a laptop that has a CUDA capable uh, GPU, like a NVIDIA GPU, RTX or something like that, but it's super cool. Okay, so let's go back here to cursor and this thing. So I can show you kind of quickly. So let's create a new chat here, new chat. As you can see here on the bottom, I hope it says liquid 2.6 billion parameters. Let's say here, uh, what is the best way to learn Kubernetes, for example? Let's see, the best way to learn Kubernetes, now, I'm not going to get too much into the quality of content. I think it's still very amazing, but you can see how quick it is. And we're getting, uh, we're getting, um, we wrote 491 tokens, but as far as I saw, it's doing around 80 tokens per second or even more. If I actually go, uh, so you can see here, if I SSH into my LLM computer, so I have a bunch of different computers here. If I do like, uh, you can see that, my Kubernetes, uh, this, these are all of my Kubernetes nodes. This computer that I'm uh, uh, showing you now is not part of the Kubernetes yet. But if I SSH into it and do BTOP, just so we can see kind of uh, performance, you can see now when, as, uh, uh, when I say something like teach me uh, Postgres uh, analyze and hit enter, you'll see here that GPU gets at 100% because my laptop has six, uh, six gigs of uh, VRAM. And you can see now it's kind of stuck at 99% as it's writing here, it's doing a lot of stuff. And then of course, it's gonna go back to zero as you can see once it does the job. If we kind of evaluate a little bit the, uh, the, the output here, I would say that the output is pretty good. I don't know if I can zoom inside of this tool. It doesn't seem so, but you can see it's kind of told us what it is and I'm just writing these things out of my head. So uh, I have no like uh, prepare the, uh, you know, tasks for it or whatever. Lastly, for this video, if we go to, to cursor, what you can do, as I also wrote in this guide, you can um, install this continue extension in, in VS Code or any VS Code fork like cursor. So it's called continue, but I'm sure there are many others. Uh, and once you install this, uh, you will, uh, as I uh, showed, uh, wrote in that article, go to the settings here, you're going to go to the models, and then you will want to make sure to configure this as your own model, as you can see, all three of these should be pointing to this local model of ours. So autocomplete, chat, and edit. And let's give it a shot. So I'm gonna drag some random file to it. So let's go here to continue. Uh, let's actually create a new session. I'm gonna open some file. Let's say, um, I don't know, right now I'm building this new learning feature. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna give it this. I'm just gonna say uh, learning routes can you review this file? Let's see how, how fast or slow is it. But this is now running. You can see as if we take a look at uh, uh, BTOP or HTOP again. So you can see it's running now directly on my GPU, which is pretty cool. CPU is more or less kind of underutilized. Of course, it's, it's all kind of happening there. So you can see the model is using around 3.5 3 gigs of, of virtual memory, of, vir of video memory, sorry. And keep in mind that I've set it up as an Ubuntu server minimized, like no Docker or whatever. So it's literally laptop is now just serving as this. I wanted to remove like all sorts of, uh, uh, you know, uh, abstractions and additional resources that would go into it and set up, you know, so I just wanted to set this up very quickly. It runs in my network behind my firewalls, be behind my, uh, you know, a reverse proxy behind my traffic. So. It's, it's really awesome. So you can see now it's finished because GPU is at zero. And let's see kind of what it did. 
Of course, I also said, uh, I mean, my uh, my prompt is very poor. Can you review this file? So I wasn't sure. But let's let's try to, to see more. Is there anything in this router that you would change? And I don't know, like like for me, if I switch back to this, because that's kind of what I wanted to show you. For me, the, the fact that we're getting these awesome models already, and I thought honestly a month ago that we are years away this gives me a good sense of uh, of things and and how uh, things are moving on this uh, in this llm space and the fact that maybe in a year or two from now we'll be able to have our own local models like fully private to us not giving the free data to open ai and all of these companies that are monetizing on us anyway i think this is absolutely amazing so this is kind of the the very quick one that i wanted to share with you it's, it's awesome give it a shot article uh, with all the details and links uh, is in the YouTube, uh, uh, you know, description below. And yeah, I hope you find this uh, useful. If you have anything to add or any other models that I want to, that I should try as well, please share them. And uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye bye. Ciao.